Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Inviting you to find a comfortable seated position propped up. You can use wall space. You can be doing this in a chair, on your couch, seated on your bed, or here on the floor with me. So I welcome you to your practice time. I honor you for showing up for you in this moment in time today. Let's begin settling into the position that we each have chosen. Noticing if you need to fidget or stretch or wiggle around so you can Ah, Settle here for a few minutes. Let's tune right into that sensation of the diaphragm moving inside of the lower torso, our core breath. Engaging the core muscles that imagining you're putting on that tightest pair of jeans or a corset if you've ever used one. And then we soften and let go of that core contraction on the breath in. That experience of the low ribs expanding, the low belly filling up with that inter-abdominal pressure. And let's stay like this for a little while, tuning into more motion, coming into our lower torso. While we breathe in and out of the nose, you might place one hand on your chest and one hand uh, around the low rib area. So you can sense the, the hand that's on your chest is passive, is quiet, is not lifting or lowering or moving at all. The hand on the lower torso can feel that movement underneath the hand, that sense of subtle expansion as we breathe in, that 360 degrees around the lower torso, that sense of inflation, like a balloon filling up, and the exhale engaging the core muscles to push the air out, and that helps the diaphragm to lift up into its resting position. Feel your core muscles from the pelvic floor all the way up into the top core muscles. Engage and then let all of that tension release so that pressure of the inhale can move down where the diaphragm can push downward. Another few times like this. Good. And then let's release the core breath. You can keep your hands on your body if that feels helpful in these moments. Now just noticing that sensation of breath in and out of the nose. More of a natural nose breath here for a few rounds. start to move into our subtle nose breath for four minutes. So the breath is going to stay low. That sensation of movement of in and out, expansion and release still happening in the lower torso. So the breath is low and deep in, in the trunk. A breath that is quiet. And we're starting to play with that slight sensation of air hunger. A 
staying comfortable in this exploration. So body comfortable, at ease in this exploration of reduced breathing. Taking less volume of air in and out than you're used to, but in a way where the breath can stay low and deep in the trunk. A breath that is slow and low and quiet. Exploring the pace, the cadence, the rhythm that works for you today. So we stay out of agitation. We're in a place of ease. That experience of wanting more air, but you're not going to give it to yourself. And you can stay relaxed inside of this. We'll be here for one more minute. Remember finding that pace that we can stay with for four minutes. It's an exploration, not a perfect and consistently be in the experiment of this. So coming at it in that open, curious, light-hearted way, in this exploration with yourself. Reduced breathing. Less air than you're used to, but enough to keep you in a state of receptivity and ease in your body, in your mind. Good. From here, let's take a couple natural, easy nose breaths, seeing if we can keep the chest and the collarbones and the shoulders passive, not lifting and lowering when we're breathing so the breath is still low in the torso. But that feels natural, like you're used to breathing that that amount of air, that volume of air and that that cadence, the rate of the the pace the breath is is moving, that pace of the in and out. I have my timer here just staying on task. <laughs> Sometimes I get lost in the in that subtle reduced breathing. So we're going to move into six to eight rounds of our short breath holds. 
So remember, we're sealing the nose at the end of an exhalation, holding the breath out. Start with five seconds. You know, as we continue in this practice, we can learn to stay a little bit longer, a little bit longer. That's a part of the goal, right? To be able to hold the breath out, to seal the nose and hold the breath out for as long as possible, knowing that we're, we're not trying to um, go so far that we feel like we need to gasp or we feel like um, overly agitated or we definitely don't want to go into a place of panic. So this is why we start with the short breath holds starting around four or five seconds and then pacing up from there depending on how we're feeling as we practice in any one day. So I'll guide a few. We're just going to leave it up to you to do your six to eight rounds. Now, if, you're, if you've been practicing for a while and you're able to extend the amount of time you're holding your breath out, then you may not be doing as many rounds. So just remembering that as you continue to tune into this class. So let's just do the first maybe one or two together, and then we'll have some time to continue on your own. Breath in through the nose, breath out, seal the nose. Five seconds, take a few easy breaths. We'll call these our resetting breaths in between the breath holds. Before you go into your next round of holding the breath out, make sure that you feel neutral, normal, like you didn't just hold your breath out, right? Everything feels at ease and very familiar. So once you feel reset, breath in, full breath out, seal the nose. We breathe in and out, and again, we continue from here. A number of rounds. In this place, again, of curiosity, of what is true today, not needing this practice to look like any other, other, any other times that you have practiced before, letting it be unique to you today. The amount of time you can stay in your breath holds. How much time you need to reset in between your rounds. Sometimes it's helpful to extend the exhale for just one or two seconds longer in your resetting breaths. You can experiment with this, see if it helps you to come back to that neutral, comfortable, sort of regular feeling space a little sooner. Especially as you're getting into the longer breath holds, I would encourage that. As you're resetting practice, take, trying to just take about three breaths. And again, a slightly longer exhale, holding the breath out. That will help to click everything back into more of that neutral space. I'm going to do one more round here. And we're going to come right back into another four minutes 
of our subtle reduced breathing. Looking at the clock here, so we stay at our four minute mark. Feel free to change your body shape. Feel free to invite your hands to rest on the body in some way so you're reminded to, to keep the upper trunk, torso quiet, not moving, relaxed. Let's rest the tongue at the roof of the mouth if you have not already. So resting the tongue at the upper palate right behind the top row of the teeth. And a few reminders that we're practicing breathing in a way where we want more air. We're not going to give it to ourselves, but we're not going to panic. There's a sense of ease. There's a sense of perhaps calm yet alert because we're not giving ourselves exactly what we need. So there's a, a bit of a focus, a subtle concentration of what we're feeling in the lower torso, that sense of expansion and release on the subtlest level, the breath that is so quiet. It's, it's a breath that's almost imperceptible. Noticing for you the second round of your subtle breathing after the breath holds, what's different? Is there anything that's more challenging or easeful? Remember that reminder, no force, no push, just really arriving into this space and open to what is true, what is real, not having to get anywhere, not having to reach a certain benchmark, but just honoring what is true, what is felt in your body, that pace that you can hold where you can stay relaxed, receiving yourself as you are today, receiving and allowing the chemical makeup of what's going on inside to be exactly perfect for you today. A few more seconds. In this subtle breathing practice, Returning to a more natural breath now. And 
let's for 30 seconds just sense into the effects of this practice on your physiology, that sense of circulation, warmth, or coolness. Where do you sense that in your body? And any sort of churning, stirring sensations in the mind, the brain, around your eyes, your third eye. Just noticing what feels subtly or drastically shifted from when you began to now. a sense of your own aliveness, those subtle layers that we can sense, feel, notice inside of us. Just when you're ready, and tuning back into the environment, giving your body a little stretch or wiggle or shake out if you feel called. If you need to sign off, feel free to sign off now. Thank you so much for joining me today for this practice. And I just wanted to give a couple um, pointers for those of you who are practicing along and using this video time and time again. So when you're doing your breath holds as you progress in this, the idea is that you actually start to move your body with your breath holds and the breath holds get longer. So you could um, continue, right? If you do this every day for a week or two, after that time, you'll notice that you'll have more capacity to hold your breath out for longer, which is excellent. So in those breath holds, you can start to sway your body or or stand up and give a little bounce to the body or walk around your room or eventually maybe give a little jog out, you know, a little shake or dance out um, while you're holding your breath out. And this is going to increase the challenge. This is going to increase our capacity to hold more levels of carbon dioxide inside of us, which is a part of what we're learning here. So... If you have any questions about this, please reach out. You know where to find me. And if you don't, info at altermovementstudio.com. That's the best email address. I'm happy to answer any questions, work with you privately if you have specific things that are coming up for you while you continue exploring these different breath practices. And again, thank you so much for joining today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much.